start this video really quick right here because I know it's gonna take me a little while to film it I'm kind of like putting a lot of clips together as I go about this video specifically so I just want to like welcome it really quick and let you guys know what this is so if you guys saw a couple videos back I announced that I am gonna be doing what's called my kickstart challenge to kick off September the right way and the first seven days of every new month I actually do a challenge with everyone that's in our revive tribe clients coaches everybody with us with Optavia and it is so so much fun but this is gonna be the very very first time that I'm documenting it here on YouTube and I'm really excited to kind of show you guys along the way what this kickstart challenge really does look like for me I'm gonna be documenting daily vlogs for the full first seven days of September so September 1st through September 7th I'm gonna be showing everything that I eat in a day everything that I do in a day if you guys also saw that video before I'm gonna be upping my workouts over this next month that's one of the big things that I really want to get more consistent on especially with my Optavia 4 2 in one plan so I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish especially in September heading into the holidays and I feel like September is the best possible time to really get into momentum just so you can kind of get some of those habits established and get them ready to go so that by the time we already know there's going to be a lot of crazy distractions and everything going on with the holidays they're just already set so that's kind of what I'm focusing on in this phase of my journey and like I said I'm actively documenting my Optavia 4 2 in one plan if you are new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about my name is Ashley welcome please join our little community here I'd love to have you I'm documenting what's called my Schlee health journey series. I was originally documenting my Optavia 5-in-1 plan and have since transitioned to my Optavia 4-2-in-1 plan. If you're new to Optavia, just so you know, everything that I show here on my channel can still be applied to your 5-in-1. Obviously, only eat one lean and grain a day and five fuelings, but everything that I show recipe-wise and all of that is still compliant with a 5-in-1 plan, just so that you know that going into it. But if you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. But the basics of that intro 5-in-1 plan, which is what most clients start out on, for optimal weight loss is gonna be you consuming five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health plan. So welcome to another episode of my Schlees Health Journey series. <laughs> Like I said, I am in the middle of documenting my 4-2-in-1 plan and I am planning to really, really rev things up going into this next month of September. I'm going to be doing daily vlogs, you guys, for the full first seven days of the month. This is something that I did way back when on my channel. I documented what was called my 30-day healthy reset where I did daily vlogs for 30 days. That was a little much as far as filming and editing and all of those things every single day. So I think seven days is probably the sweet spot for filming specifically. But I'm going to be using this first seven days of September to really kickstart some new healthy habits that I'm looking to implement into my day starting September 1st and a big part of that is going to be workouts. So I've got some ideas for that and I'll keep you guys in the loop on what I'm trying to do specifically on the activity side but specifically on the eating side I just wanted to go ahead and start this video here. I have like no makeup on and I like just came back from Pilates like there's so many things that I was trying to get done today and didn't even get to so here we are. I'm just starting this vlog here and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I have planned for when we actually get into it starting on Thursday September 1st. So so this is going to be a little kickstart challenge prep vlog. I'm going to share with you guys how I'm prepping for this challenge and it starts with meal planning. So you guys just saw me fill out my Revive Tribe trackers for my meal plan for the upcoming week starting September 1st. If you guys don't know what my Revive Tribe trackers are, I highly recommend checking them out. It's a free PDF download on my website, ashleykisner.com. You can go download yours there. And if you are in for this kickstart challenge starting September 1st, really going all in on your plan, my Revive Tribe tracker is what I'm going to be using to really hold myself accountable and stay consistent the entire time and I highly recommend you going to print off yours. Print off seven copies at a bare minimum so that you have these ready to go when you're going to really kickstart your plan on the first. I am using these to act 
actively plan out my meals for the next week. So especially on my 4 2 in one plan, there is a lot of planning involved when you're eating two lean ingredients instead of one. It's a lot more food than I was originally prepared for. But now that I've been doing this for a little while, I feel like I kind of have it down. I know the structure and the routine, but I still want to make sure going into this kickstart challenge, I just have a plan ahead of time because I know for a fact things are going to get crazy. There's going to be things going on in our business. We're actually planning to leave town at the very end of this kickstart challenge because we've got a leadership retreat in Oregon. There's just all of these things going on. And I just know that if I don't plan ahead of time, I will leave things to chance. And when I leave things to chance, usually excuses go around in my head of like, oh, well, I just didn't have time or I didn't have veggies or I didn't have protein or whatever. Like plan ahead so that not if, but when an obstacle comes up, you already know that your lean greens are prepped ahead. You already know that you've got everything you need in the fridge to stay on plan, especially as we're kickstarting this challenge for September. So I planned ahead all of my meals for the upcoming week, the full seven days. I am going to be heading out now to actually go get all of the groceries that I need. I made a full list of everything that I need for this upcoming week and everything that I can get done with by the time the last day of this challenge hits, because like I said, we're actually going to be traveling on the last day of this challenge. I'm going to be flying to Oregon and that's like a really big trek for us from here in Nashville all the way across the country to Oregon. So that's going to be a kind of a crazy day and I'm going to show it. I'm going to document how to stay on plan while you're in the middle of a travel day, especially flying. But I've planned ahead all of my lean and green meals and also planned ahead what I'm going to be having for my healthy fats and some of my condiments for the days going into my Kickstart challenge. And I'm going to share with you guys what I have planned. But right now we're going to head out to the grocery store. We're going to go get every grocery that we need for this upcoming Kickstart challenge. And then I will obviously show you a full grocery haul of what I got. And I'll go through my trackers just to let you know how each thing that I got is going to play into each of the meals that I have planned for the upcoming week. So I hope you guys get a little motivation from this kickstart challenge prep video. This is just all I'm doing to prep ahead of time for my kickstart challenge in September. I'm using these vlogs to stay accountable and consistent because I've got my own goals too, you guys, and we're doing this together. So if you're in and you're excited, I highly recommend you get prepped too, because we've got an amazing week kickstart challenge ahead and I'm excited to do it with you. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera along and I will take you guys grocery shopping with me. the next day we did our shopping yesterday and I didn't have it in me to like do a full haul and do my prep last night since it was like getting kind of late but I did get everything that I need for all of my lean greens this week a couple things I need for coffee things like that I'm gonna show you guys a full grocery haul of what I needed to be able to prepare for my kickstart challenge like I said I already went through and decided what lean greens I'm gonna have for the entire week starting on Thursday and I went and got all of the ingredients that I needed to make sure I can make all of the successfully. I'm also going to prep all of my ingredients so that there's no excuse. All my stuff is prepped. There's no way to not have a lean and green, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you. These ingredients that I got yesterday were mostly from Trader Joe's and Publix. I technically have a little bit of stuff from Sam's, but the majority of it is Trader Joe's and Publix. The majority of the lean and greens that I'm planning to make, which I've already written out on my trackers, is I'm going to be doing my turkey and veggie scramble. I'm pretty sure almost all of these recipes have full recipe videos on my channel if you're wanting to figure out how to make them, but I'm going to be making my turkey and veggie scramble for one of my lean and greens a few days throughout the week. I really like having that as like kind of like a breakfast lean and green. Really, really good. And then I'm going to be making my cheesy cauliflower rice and beef bowl. That one's super easy and yummy as well. Then I'm also going to be doing my chicken veggie stir fry. That was like a staple in the very beginning of my plan. And I always like to bust it out if I ever want to like lean things out or get really clean on what I'm making for my lean and green. So I got stuff for my chicken veggie stir fry. And then also got some stuff from Trader Joe's to make the cauliflower rice stir fry with turkey meatballs. That is a trick. Trader Joe's staple. And then on Sunday, okay, I'm really excited about this. Sunday, we're gonna have some fun. Sunday, we're gonna be making a buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza. 
by far my favorite lean and green I have ever made to date and I feel like it's time to bust it out again. It's been a while since I've made it so I'm actually really excited for that. Um, and then also I have some flavors of home on the books for a couple of these days. Flavors of home are lean and green meals that you can literally just order from Optivia's site. They are a full lean and green plus your healthy fat for the day for at least that lean and green so I'm going to be using some of those. And then I want to say that's pretty much everything that I have planned. So we're going to be making a majority of those recipes. I've already figured it out where it's going to be on my trackers for the week and I'm going to share with you guys what I got from the store in order to make all of that. Okay so let's start with meats. I went ahead and got 99% lean ground turkey from Trader Joe's. Just for the record one of the big reasons why I decided to go to Trader Joe's this time is because Trader Joe's beat everybody's prices. I cannot believe how much less expensive Trader Joe's is to compare to a lot of the other stores these days. So I figured why not save some money on this grocery trip and their meats are definitely the lowest I've seen other than like Sam's Club if you're gonna buy it in bulk. But I knew I only needed a little bit of each thing so I only got these from Trader Joe's. I got the ground turkey breast 99% lean. Two of those so that I have those on hand for a couple of the things that I'm planning to make. Then also got two packs of chicken breasts. Is this like a pound? Yeah I think this is a pound. No two pounds? I don't know. Two pounds? Who? I really don't know. I think it's a pound of chicken breast each. Anyway there's, there's four chicken breasts here so I think that's gonna last me throughout my recipes. These are gonna be for my chicken veggie stir fry that I'm gonna be planning to make and then also some of the chicken in my buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza. So anyway needed some chicken breasts. Then like I said we're gonna be making a cauliflower rice stir fry with turkey meatballs and you can get both of these items from Trader Joe's. So so convenient and so easy and I knew that I was planning to make this on a day where I had a lot of like meetings and stuff going on so I just wanted to have these in the freezer ready to go and make them on one of the days that we're gonna be kickstarting. So this is the Trader Joe's riced cauliflower stir fry. Delicious. Actually a cup and a half of this is gonna count as three greens on plan and then we've got the infamous frozen Trader Joe's turkey meatballs. Five of these is gonna count as one lean and you just throw them together and it makes a perfect stir fry with your veggies. It's gonna be perfect. So got both of those. Then also stocked up on just some regular frozen cauliflower for my beef cauliflower bowls. These are a staple. I always have frozen cauliflower rice in my freezer and I just feel like I bust it out so often if I'm just like, oh my God, I need greens. What am I going to do? So have two of those and then more meat. I got two pounds of extra lean ground beef, 96%. These also highly recommend 96% lean beef means that you can have six ounces of it plus one healthy fat. Usually any other lean beef that you're going to find is a higher percentage or a lower percentage, lower percentage, meaning there's more fat in it and you can't add a healthy fat. So these ones you can. I grabbed two pounds of this to add to my beef and cauliflower rice bowls. And then also just got some plain fresh cauliflower, a bag of this so that I can make my buffalo cauliflower chicken pizza. It's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Then on to veggies. I grabbed two little pre-chopped versions of jicama from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite place to get jicama. I think they have it pre-chopped at some other grocery stores, but this is just the right size so that I can literally just slice them in half and throw them in my veggie chopper. Also, if you're gonna do this challenge with me, I'm just saying you need a veggie chopper in your life. They are gonna change your game. I'll link it down below and you guys will see as I use it today. But these are gonna be used in my veggie chopper. Same with bell peppers. I grabbed four bell peppers yesterday. I grabbed a red one, two orange, and one yellow. I'm pretty sure four is gonna last me the full week. I incorporate bell peppers a lot in my health journey. I love the taste. I feel like they also add a lot of color to my dish, which is really fun. And I'm really gonna be using these over the next week. So I grabbed four. I'm gonna be dicing all of these so that they're always ready to go. And I always have some chopped peppers on hand. Then on to the cheese. So I got some light shredded cheese. This is actually a blend of three mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and light cheddar cheese. So, so good. So this is basically reduced fat cheese. Reduced fat cheese can technically count as a lean for your day. I wouldn't make this like every single day of the week if you're on your five and one, but it definitely can be used like once or twice a week. If you're trying to add in a little cheese into your life, you totally can. Just remember cheese is dairy, so it might bloat you. Everybody's body is totally different. So if you're on a five and one, I would keep a cheese dish to like once or maybe twice a week. I'm on a four, two and one. So things are a little bit different and I do incorporate cheese into my dishes, but this is the kind of cheese that I like. The reduced fat shredded cheddar cheese can be used in so many different lean and greens and I grabbed two bags of it because not only do I use it, but Zach uses it as well. So grab two of those. Then for laughing cow cheese wedges, you can't go wrong. I grabbed two of my favorites. So the dark blue original Swiss laughing cow cheese is actually going to count as one healthy fat. And then I 
grabbed the green garlic and herb laughing cow cheese. This is my favorite laughing cow that I've had on my journey the entire time. These and all the other colored ones are gonna count as one condiment. So that's a big thing to like remember. This is gonna probably go in my beef and cauliflower rice bowl because it's a little thicker. It also counts as my healthy fat for that meal. This is gonna probably go on more like if I wanna spread it over a buttermilk biscuit or if I wanna like, what else would I do? If I wanna like put it in a mashed potato or like things like that, that's what I'll use these ones for. But I grabbed two of my laughing cow cheese wedges. Then I actually already had this in the fridge but I figured I'd share with you guys anyway. I also have one third less fat cream cheese. This is gonna go in my buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza and it's going to be delicious. Also in my buffalo cauliflower pizza, we needed a little bit of light ranch. Found that at Publix, ready to go. And then this was the highlight of my shopping trip, you guys. Chobani zero sugar, let me just blow your mind. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. I'm just saying, Giovanni Zero Sugar Pumpkin Spice is going to make my life this week. I am so, so excited to try these out. I have not had the pumpkin spice version, but I have been really liking the Giovanni Zero Sugars. I've actually been really liking chopping up one of my bar fuelings and putting it over the top of some yogurt, and this is going to be perfect for that. This is gonna count as my snack on my 4 2 one plan. Make sure you reach out to your coach and let them know if this is something you're wanting to incorporate if you're on a 5 and one because it can count as part of your leanest for the day if you're wanting to incorporate it. Because I'm on a 4 2 one this is gonna count as a snack, but make sure you're in touch with your coach and they'll tell you how this is gonna count. I got four of these, not only because I wanted to try them, but it was also four for five bucks, so I was like, why not? Pumpkin spice yogurt, you guys. Find your ways to incorporate pumpkin however you can because there's still a way we can enjoy all of the fall and all of the pumpkin goodness even while we're going towards our health goals, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, last but not least, also grabbed a little bit of iced coffee. You guys know I've been like kind of an iced coffee fan these days, and if you guys haven't seen, I also have a hack for how to make a healthy pumpkin cream cold brew from home. I'm just saying, so, so good. Make sure you check that out. It was my last video, I think the one that we just uploaded. Check that out. I use this blonde roast iced coffee. This is my favorite one as of right now. You could also do like a regular cold brew or whatever iced coffee that you like. And then I also got some half and half. I've been loving half and half in my coffee as well. If I'm ever doing iced coffee, I like half and half. If I'm doing a hot coffee, I'll do nut pods. This isn't part of the haul, but let me show you. Pumpkin nut pods have entered the chat. I'm just saying, pumpkin nut pods are officially on Amazon, and if you're looking for the healthiest, cleanest, possible pumpkin creamer for your coffee. This is the way to go. Three tablespoons of my pumpkin spice nut pods. As long as they are unsweetened and dairy free, it'll say it at the bottom. Three tablespoons counts as one condiment for the day. So if I ever do hot coffee, I normally do my pumpkin spice nut pods. And then if I ever do cold coffee, I'll do three tablespoons of half and half. And then I'll put in some sort of a sugar-free pumpkin spice syrup. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at for this haul. So that is everything that we got for the upcoming week of our Kickstart challenge. Like I said, this video is just being filmed as I get prepped for the week. I'm gonna go ahead and start the actual meal prep because one of the big, big keys to rocking this journey is making sure that not only you have a plan for your lean and grains, but you also have prepped ingredients so that no matter what, if you know what hits the fan, there's always something in the fridge that you can bust out and make a quick recipe with. I like to chop all of my veggies to make sure they're good to go. I'm gonna chop all of my bell peppers and then prep all of my meat, probably chop up my jicama. I'm gonna do all of the things so that when I inevitably know something tries to get in the way of me staying on my health goals, I know I've got stuff in the fridge. I know I can stay on track. So I'm gonna do all of the prep. I'll show you guys how I do it and I will check back in with you guys in a bit. Tell me when to stop, babe Just keep on dancing like we're not 
a marathon meal prep, but I really think we got so much accomplished in such a short amount of time. Here's how everything's gonna work out for the week. So we've got our two pounds of our 96% lean ground beef. This is gonna work perfectly with our cheesy cauliflower beef bowls. I've got regular, just plain chicken breast, all baked up, ready to go. I didn't do any seasonings or anything just because I know this is gonna be used in multiple different recipes. So I don't wanna have anything kind of like mess up the flavor, but this is just plain chicken breast and this is gonna work in my chicken veggie stir fry as well as our buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza. Then I have my 99% lean ground turkey. This is gonna be working into my turkey veggie scramble, as well as this is really just good to have on hand just in general. If I ever am running low on protein or I need something extra, this works really well in place of chicken in my veggie stir fry, and then also in place of beef if I need that with cauliflower. So I've got extra just ready to go whenever I need it. Then I have all of my diced bell peppers for the week. Half a cup of diced bell peppers counts as one grain. So you can use this in multiple different ways. This will be in my chicken veggie stir fry as well as my turkey veggie scramble and probably other things as well. Then jicama is gonna work perfectly in my turkey veggie scramble to kind of act almost like as potatoes. Works really, really well in that recipe. And I love how they just kind of take on the taste of everything else in the recipe. And then I got broccoli. We've got broccoli diced up, ready to go for my chicken veggie stir fry. All of these were so, so simple to prep. As you guys saw with that veggie chopper, look how perfect. These are the perfect size, small enough so that they can blend perfectly into whatever dish I want to add them to. My veggie chopper has seriously made everything so much easier and quicker and I love it. If you have not gotten one, you need one. But that is my full kickstart challenge meal prep and I think I am ready to go for the week. So I think that's going to do it for me today, you guys. I have meal prepped everything I need ahead of time so that when my kickstart challenge starts tomorrow, I have zero excuse to make up any sort of a reason as to why I can't stay on track. I've got all of my ingredients prepped and ready to go. That's kind of how I like to do meal prep. I don't like prepping the full meal because I'm not kind of a reheat it kind of girl. I'm the kind of person who wants to just have the veggies and the meat prepped so I can just cook it right then and there. I've got everything in my fridge to make sure that I'm gonna be as successful as possible. I've stocked up on water for the week. I've got a plan for my lean and greens. I've got my Revive Tribe trackers ready to go. Make sure you get your Revive Tribe trackers printed as well. You are going to need that in order to stay accountable and successful on your plan, especially as we kick off these first seven days of September. I am so excited to rev things up, not only with my health, but also with my fitness and I'm gonna be bringing the camera along for the full first seven days of September so that we can really go all in on this journey together. Thank you so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys are rocking my kickstart challenge with me starting tomorrow, let me know in the comments below what you are most excited for your health coming up in September. We've got big goals to hit by the end of this year, you guys, and it all starts now. So if you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload.
upload new videos coming to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my Kickstarter challenge. Bye, guys. Go ahead.